Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can sign a PDF whether you're using an iPhone or an Android phone. All right, well, should we get to it? So today I'm gonna to be using an iPhone. However, if you have an iPhone or if you have an Android phone, you'll be able to follow along because this free app works on either one. So what we're gonna do, the first step, we are going to get the Office app. It's an, it's an app made by Microsoft and it's completely free to download and use and it does signing PDFs very, very well. So what we're gonna do is if you're on an iPhone, we're gonna click into the App Store. Uh, if you're on an Android phone, uh, you're going to click into the Play Store and what we're going to do is we are going to search for Microsoft Office. So when you search for Microsoft Office, the first one that pops up should be the Microsoft Office app. Uh, so here you see it and if you don't yet have this app on your phone, go ahead and click on install. Uh, in this case, I've already installed the app on my phone so I am just going to click on open. And what this will do is this will land me into the main screen of the Office app. Now the Office app could sign PDFs but it also does a lot more than just signing PDFs. Uh, here I could see all my Word, all my Excel, all of my PowerPoint files. I could open them, I could edit them on my phone. Uh, entirely for free. So it has lots of rich functionality. Uh, just as some of the other things that you could do, you could uh, take photos of documents, you could take photos of whiteboards, you could convert them into text, uh, you could take a picture of a document, turn it into a PDF. So it really has a lot of rich functionality. Uh, but I said I would help you sign a PDF. So what we're gonna do is, in the bottom right hand corner, there's an option called Actions. Let's go ahead and click on Actions. Now I see a lot of different actions that I could take within the Office app. Uh, the one we care about though is signing a PDF. And so if you go down to the fourth one here, uh, it says sign PDF. Uh, so I could add my signature. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Uh, and now what you need to do is you need to select a PDF file uh, that's available on your phone. And one thing you could do is if you don't immediately see your PDF file here, we could go ahead and click on the folder that says browse. And so what you could do is with the Office app, you could open a PDF file that might be saved in OneDrive. And so I see OneDrive, you could get documents from SharePoint, but you could also open up documents that are saved on your iPhone or your Android. Uh, you could also look in a, a files uh, app location. Uh, and then you could also look at recent folders. So there are many different ways to get PDFs into the app. Once you have your PDF in the app, in my case, I have a PDF called Modeling Contract, and I better sign that and get that back quickly before they resend the contract. So I'm gonna go ahead, I clicked on Modeling Contract, and it's gonna open the PDF now. Um, so here I see the PDF modeling contract, and then there's lots of uh, legal text on here. Uh, at the very bottom, what you'll see is there's a, there's a text dialog that says tap where you wish to sign. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down the document, and then here at the very end, there's a section for my signature. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there, and I've already entered my signature into the app. If this is your first time using the app, the Office app will ask you to write your signature. And once you write your signature, it'll remember your signature, and then then what you could do is anytime you want to place it, you could simply click in the PDF and then it'll insert your signature. And what's nice here is I can move my signature around. So I'm going to put my signature right there. I could also adjust the size of my signature. So if I want to be a boss, I could go with a really big signature uh, or I just go with a normal size signature so they don't think, uh, they don't think anything weird about my signature. Um, and so there's my signature. And I think that looks good right now. And so I'm satisfied with my signature. Once I'm done signing the document, there's a check mark in the top left hand corner. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the check mark. And now it's gonna save the PDF with my signature in it. Uh, so there's my finalized modeling contract document. Uh, but a contract's no good if I just keep it on my phone. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure I share it back. And in the bottom right hand corner, there's the option to share. And when I click on share, what I could do is, because this file is on OneDrive, other people could access the document if I share it with them. So I can invite other people if I'd like to do that. I could also copy a link to this PDF and allow them to view or edit the PDF. And then lastly, I also have the option to send a copy. And when I click on send a copy, this opens up the standard iPhone sharing control. On Android, you also have your standard sharing control. And what I could do is I could send it via email, via messenger. Uh, so I'm gonna click on mail here and what that'll do is it creates a PDF attachment on the email and then I could go ahead and I could send that off to whoever I need to send this contract uh, back to.
All right, well that was just a very quick example of how you could use the Office app to sign a PDF on either your iPhone or your Android phone. If this video helped you sign a PDF, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button, that way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you have any other videos that you wanna see me cover on this channel or any other burning questions that you have, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye.